Nine's newspapers and The Australian have published a series of text messages which they say were sent by Federal Labor MP Anthony Byrne to former Victorian Minister Adam Somurek over a two-year period. Now, the ABC has not viewed these messages, but the papers are reporting that uh, some of them used graphic language to criticise some of Mr Byrne's political colleagues, uh, that there are messages using derogatory language about a female MP and a female staffer uh, and also criticism of former Labor leader Bill Shorten and Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews. Now this comes after Mr Byrne said yesterday that he was assisting police and anti-corruption authorities after his electorate office was used to secretly record videos aired by Channel 9 which has published branch stacking allegations against Mr Somurek. They are allegations that Mr Somurek denies and there are no suggestions that Mr Byrne was involved involved in that alleged activity. Mr Byrne has released a statement saying that Mr Somurek has selectively released a hand-picked selection of text messages to him sent over two years, just hours after Mr Byrne made a public statement that he'd contacted authorities and would assist with their investigations. He says that speaks for itself. So Jade, where does this leave the Labor Party? Well, the federal Labor leader, Anthony Albanese, has responded this morning. He was criticised yesterday when he said that he had not yet spoken to Mr Byrne about these matters. He says that he did reach out to him yesterday afternoon, that he asked about his welfare. He also sought and says he was given an assurance from him that he's got advice that he has acted legally at all times. When it comes to those text messages, though, Mr Albanese says he made it clear to Anthony Byrne that they were were inappropriate. I note uh, the comments uh, that uh, are published uh, today from Mr Byrne. These comment comments are completely unacceptable and inappropriate and I've counselled Mr Byrne about his language and the inappropriateness of those comments. This comes on top of what has already been a very damaging week for the Labor Party. Its national executive has intervened into the Victorian branch, uh, taking over pre-selections there and appointing administrators. And Daniel Andrews has lost three ministers. The coalition, though, expected to continue to try to ramp up pressure on Anthony Albanese over this. OK, Jade McMillan reporting there from Canberra.